What's going on guys, the 6 here, and today we've got another airsoft unboxing for you guys, so let's get into it. Now this is a handgun this time, not the AK-47 BB gun, so I've got my crusty knife here, so let's get into the unboxing. So here we just got a bit of documentation I'm guessing about the uh, yeah, just about shipping. So this gun was actually 18.99 and it's going off sale in a few days time, so I'll pick it up. So this is the M21 military military type airsoft gun and this time there's no dodgy English there, no air sport gun this time. And here it says High power, accurate performance, effective long range shooting. Which I've heard the effective long range shooting isn't true. And it uses 6mm BBs. And it has a bit of the safety there and telling you how to use a gun. And it comes with hop up for ages 18 and up. So there's nothing else inside the little parcel here. So let's get into it. So here's just a manual here for the airsoft gun M21 military type so his overall length is 215 millimeters there's 400 grams and magazine capacity is 20 rounds I have heard the magazine can hold 24 but it, it could break so I wouldn't recommend doing that so you just get how to not to shoot someone in the face and all that sort of stuff here so let's put that to a side now there's the gun itself so this gun is made by Double Eagle, as they, there's the branding of the logo there, and it says M21 on the gun, and it's sort of a brownie sort of colour, and there are the crappy .20 gram BBs, so they don't actually give you the .12 gram yellow BBs with this gun, so we'll just get our knife and slit it through the speed loader spot. So this gun has like a little speed loader spot here, it's actually not meant to come with speed loader, I don't believe, so it doesn't say on the box that it's supposed to. Let's just move all the cellophane off the box. And comes with the speed loader spot I was talking about. So if you do have a speed loader, existing speed loader, so you can just put it in there. And these are the crappy BBs I've been talking about. Wouldn't recommend using these. Um, I picked this gun up from justbbguns.co.uk and even they recommend not to use these BBs. So yeah, that tells you something, doesn't it? So this gun is made by Double Eagle, as I've said. So if you just lift the gun here. In the trigger spot, you can see it has like this gun, a like a little orange tip there, and it does have some weight to it, if you ask me. And someone has said that if they unscrew this, it's actually got some weight in it. So if you want to put your own grips on the side, it will lose a bit of weight. So this gun is spring powered, and it's a it's a Tokyo Mario clone of the 1911. Um, if they play Call of Duty, you'll know about that. So. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. I mean, it's not the largest gun in the world, as you can see. Move the box out of the way. There's the gun itself. So, it's two-turn due to UK law. So, and it's got a bit of set of safeties on this gun. So, that's one safety. Without that, you can't pull, pull back the cocking handle. As you can see, can't pull that back. But if I let go of that, you can pull it back as you can see, it's going back. And the hammer is working, you can pull it back and it will function. And as you can see, I can't pull the trigger, it's because I'm not holding this bit down. If you hold that bit down, you can move the trigger. If not, you cannot move the trigger. That's another safety built into it. And the mag comes underneath. And on this side, you can't actually release the mag, but on this bit you can. So if you just do that, magazine will drop out. Magazine has got some weight to it. Um, feels a bit like a metal magazine, but it's really not. It's a, it's a plastic magazine. The BBs, you just feed them into there. And goes in reasonably well. There you go. So if you're outside and you just want to release the mag like that, don't, don't do that. Make sure you stick your hand underneath outside because it will crack or even break. So, 
Let's just cock back the gun. So I've cocked the gun now. And I have noticed the gun, when you first get it out of the box, is quite stiff. The magazine's not too stiff. Some people do get a stiff version, but it is quite stiff to pull back one, even with two hands. So it does have a working hammer, as I've already mentioned. And yeah, first impressions. Uh, it's not the most expensive gun, but mm, it's good looking. But this is metal. That the slide is actually ABS plastic. That the inner barrel is actually metal. The inside frame is made with a little bit of metal, but that's pretty much the most metal you're going to get on this gun. So note that this gun does shoot 250 FPS. It says on just bbguns.co.uk. But that is with 0.12 grams. With 0.20 grams, this gun shoots about 220 to 200 FPS. So it's not the best rating, but it's, it's decent. So let's just get our 0.20 gram BBs, Bulldogs, and we'll just put, put that into the gun. And just like release the mag here. Put the gun on the side, and seems to have some sort of shaking noise, but anyway, we'll get. BB. What you want to do is just push that BB in, and you can see it's there. And if you get another one, you get the mag. And you just push that through as well on the same spot, like so. So that's got two two BBs loaded into it. So we'll give it a shot. Um, it makes a decent noise. I mean, it's not the loudest noise. Now the American version that you can get. It, this slide will be black and it will be a massive orange tip on this bit but it won't look too different I mean another good thing about this gun is when you're pulling back this loading handle you can actually see the BB loading up like like through this chamber you'll see the BB popping up another good thing about this gun is it's got this little clip sort of thing here and if you turn the gun around there's like a little hole so if you get like a pen or a knife or something and if you just insert into the hole if you push that out this will come off and the whole top bit of the slide will come off for any improvements or any unblocking of the BB jamming BBs or so on you want to improve it now the sights on the gun are pretty accurate but I'll just give you Little bit of a show of the sights. So the sight at the top isn't largest. The sights go like this. Small sights, but yeah. Let's give it a fire. So this gun doesn't have the most powerful velocity. But it's got a bit of the specifications on the box. So on this side it just tells you about the slide. On this side it has specifications. So the power source is a spring. The velocity is 70 to 80 milliseconds with 0.12 gram BBs, like I said. Power range is 40 meters. And the FPS on this gun, as I've already mentioned, is 250. I will be doing a review on this gun, so stay tuned for that. So, thanks for watching guys. This is of course, Demon56.